what you know. That's the important thing. It's it's what you know. So we're talking about everyday KTT 318. Sticking to what you know. Yesterday we talked about if you're going to succeed, the best thing you can do is stick to, you know, use your skills. Figure out how you can use your skills to succeed, to be awesome, to kick some ass. So today we're talking about how and why. So if you stick to what you know, you don't really have to work that hard. Oh, my belt's all screwed up. Sorry about that. Um, if you stick to what you know, stick to what you love, you don't have to try that hard to actually do better at it. I mean, it might take a lot of effort to get better because you are you know, a badass at whatever it is you love doing and what you do well, but it's what you love doing. You know, if you are a carpenter and you really love working on wood, you love building stuff with your hands, building houses, whatever it is that you love doing carpentry wise, I mean, you get to a point where you're doing it professionally and, you know, obviously you're good. You can get better. You have to work really hard at it, but you can get better at it. If you went to shift jobs and go from a carpenter to maybe a database developer, you'd have to put an astronomical amount of effort in just to get okay. Whereas if you put that same amount of effort into your carpentry, you would be like the Michelangelo of hammer swingers. It'd be amazing. So stick with what you know. Why? Because it's easy. Not easy in the, fa in, in the manner of not difficult to do just to get better at it, but easy in the fact that you're already doing it. If you're running downhill, keep running. Why, ch why, why stop? Why turn around and try to go back uphill? Don't. Stick with what you know. Now, if you're going to start your own business, if you're going to go do something, if you're going to whatever it is, Stick with what you know. Stick with what you love. It's going to be significantly easier for you because you already have those skills. And the best part is, this is the easily the best and most important part about it, is that you're not going to have to work as hard to get that confidence in your abilities because you already know. You're not going to have to work that as hard to convince people that you're really good at what you do because they already know. So if you take what you're good at, and you keep going and bust your ass and be better at it and be awesome at it. For whatever reason, you're shifting careers, you're moving to a new location, new company, whatever it is. Or say you're buying kilts. You want to be a professional kilt model. It does happen. You know, you got to make sure you make those left turns on the runway, though. You can't pull a left turn. I mean, we all know what happened to the Zoolander. Bad things. So make sure, you know, if you're going to do that, just keep going, keep trying, keep working at it, keep busting your ass. You, you know, you know that you're awesome at something and you know what that is and you know that you love it and you know you want to get better at it. The only person stopping you is you. So get out there, kick some ass, do the thing that you love, get better at it, become awesome at it, become the person in your physical community, not global, physical community the one in your town, city, whatever, that people go to when they have questions about what it is that you do. People have marketing questions or kilt questions, they come talk to me around here, for the most part. I mean, at least in Rochester. You know, I'm hoping to build that up, but it, it's slow. you got to take time and you got to work at it. Be that person who knows everything about what it is that you do in your area so that people can come to you. They will find you. They will seek you out with questions. They'll want to know, hey... How do I do this? You're the carpenter. I heard you are awesome at this. I saw the house you built down the street. I need a new living room. What can you do for me? It's that simple. Find the thing you love. Go kick ass at it. Don't worry about what other people think because if you know you're good at it, if you have anyone who knows and says that you're good at not just says, but they actually can back it up with legit fact, you can find those people, you've got that support, you've got those backups, you've got those followers we talked about yesterday. You're the only one stopping you. Go out there, kick some ass. Game's starting back up in a minute, so we're going to let this go. Um, but you can always go to Amazon, buy Kiltology. I, I, I would not complain. Um, with that, it's Sunday night. Pats are beating up on the Broncos pretty good right now. Um, I will see you tomorrow. You guys have an awesome night. Remember, first thing in the morning, coffee, and uh, see if I can't get you a little uh, inspirational thing in the morning. Be strong. Put a kilt on. See you tomorrow.